Hey, what is up, guys? It is King Sock here. Today, we we'll learn how to do use, use Verilog on EDA Playground or write Verilog and using EDA Playground. So just go to the website first. Um, okay. So first thing you do, try and run it with no code, and it tells you it can't run. Please select the valid tool or simulator. Go here to the left, Tools and Simulator. Click Icarus Verilog 0.9.7, and boom, you try and run again. And it doesn't work, you gotta log in. So just log in. Um, just log in with like Google. I log in with Google. Um, and it's logged in. And once you're signed in, uh, you should be able to run. And boom, it gives you an error because there are no modules. Uh, but yeah, let's start writing very log code. So first of all, you start with your design bench right here, your design, uh, logic design. So you create modules. Uh, which are basically combinational or sequential logic blocks where we have some inputs, some outputs, some logic in between. So let's just do module. Um, that's the keyword to start a module. Let's make a simple one, just inverter. And the syntax is you put the two parentheses, like making a function in another language, in like JavaScript or something, and you put a semicolon, and then you have n module. Um, so right here, you actually want to put the uh, inputs and outputs. So let's just put you know, the convention is like A, B, C for inputs, so let's do A and Y for outputs. So, right here, you just write input A, semicolon. So tell Verilog that the input to the module is A, and you do output Y. And then, see here's the magic, you do assign Y equals tilde A. So that is basically the logic uh, right here. Um, it assigns y, the output, to be whatever the not of a is. All right, so that's basically our module done. That's it. Well, it's a simple module. Next, we want a test bench right here. It's called test bench. First, set the time scale. Um, just copy paste this because you want it to go a bit slower uh, because the default speed is like one picosecond per tick or something really fast. So this basically slows it down a little bit. Don't worry about that for now. Just copy paste it. So you do a, um, so the way you type tilde is you do shift in the top left, right? So just don't click shift and that is this little comma in the air. You do that thing and then you write time scale and then 1ns over 1ps. And next, you want to create your test bench module. So the same way, you know, just do test bench right here. You don't need any inputs or outputs because it's uh, just a test bench. It's like a main function. And you then module, and then you want to declare variables, right? We want to test if our inverter works, right? So yeah, we probably need a register um, uh, for our input. Let's call it A1. And we need a wire for the output. Let's call it Y1. Now, how do we want to test it? Uh, you want to just display it. But um, to actually do the display and whatever sequentially, like in a program, you need a what's called a initial begin. So this initial begin block is going to mark where the program should start running the simulation. So we have an initial begin right here. Um, and actually, before we do that, we have to also instantiate the module. So name of the modules, I mean, the type of modules inverter. And now let's just call it inf1, which is the name we set, and set a1 to be the input, and y1 to be like that, you know, to match up like this, see a, a1, y1, y, and here, let's set a1 to equal uh, a 1 bit 1. So it's a single bit, and, uh, well, obviously it's a single bit, because it's a single register, a single bit register. And, and let's set the value to be 1. So this is the syntax, so 1 apostrophe b, tells the Verilog that it's in binary, the B tells it in binary, and one tells it it's one bit. And the apostrophe is just um, the syntax. Keep in mind this apostrophe and this uh, comma in the air are different characters. And right here, let's uh, try and display A1. So you write dollar display, and you do uh, quote A equals just a percent B to show it in binary. And write A1 right there. So the A1's value will replace this percent %B right here. Let's run it. 
and boom, you got A equals 1. Let's ignore this time scale thing for now. It doesn't really matter. So this A1 works. But with our module right here, Y1 should be 0, right? Right here, you run it. Boom, Y equals Z. Z means high impedance. Uh, basically means that Y1 is not set. So it's not set yet. But why is that? Well, it's because this module takes a little bit of time. It's simulating reality, right? So it's simulating a module, a, a NOT gate, the physical NOT gate wire thing with the transistors and stuff. And obviously it takes time for electricity to move. So if you display it right after, it hasn't been set yet. So what you need to do is you do a pound, which is the delay symbol, uh, the syntax for delay. Just do a delay of one tick. And this should allow it enough time, they allow the inverter module enough time to set the Y, and you get Y equals zero. One thing to note is that EDA Playground doesn't save automatically, so make sure you save often. Oh, wait, you can set name first. Let's make a title. Intro. Description. Intro. And save. Then it'll load. It'll go back, and if you click on your name on the top right, you'll see it here. Intro. And then you're all set. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.